Assalamu alaikum. The ultimate in Al Jannah on earth was the coming of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. The advent of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, is described metaphorically as the appearance of God Almighty Himself. He had attained the stage of Ruhul Amin, which is the spirit of security, a state beyond the imagination of man, a state of getting together and becoming one with God. A state of perfect unity, Dana Fata Dallah. Chapter 53, verse 10 of the Holy Quran. The Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, became the mirror reflecting divine attributes. He was Al Abd. The Holy Quran calls him Abdullah in chapter 72, verse 20, the servant of Allah, the exemplar par excellence. For the latter days, God in his mercy sent us the servant of this servant, Ghulam Ahmad. It was revealed to the promised Messiah, peace be upon him. Inni anzaltu ma'aka al-jannah, which means I have caused paradise to descend with thee. Although the presence of prophets of God amongst mankind is paradise on earth, the revelation to the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, would indicate that God would, through the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, institute a dynamic system that would lead God and paradise for the coming generations. The dynamic system consists of two components. One, al wasiyat and two, Khilafat. al wasiyat requires continued struggle, effort, sacrifice, and righteous conduct and leads to the reward of Khilafat. Khilafat fosters unity, quality belief in the unity of Allah, and provides divine proximity. al wasiyat and Khilafat are inter interdependent and lead towards the reward of Al-Jannah. The Promised Messiah, peace be upon him, instituted the system of al wasiyat in 1905, so the ensuing divine blessings of Khilafat will continue until the end of times. The Promised Messiah, peace be upon him, came to revive this Ummah and foster a spiritually elite Ummah that would, through its efforts and sacrifices and fortified prayers by the prayers of the Promised Messiah, fortified by the prayers of the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, and the grace of God would evolve spiritually through the stages of Kafur, chapter 76, verse 6 of the Quran, Tafir, chapter 76, verse 7, Zanjabil, chapter 76, verse 18, and Salsabil, which is chapter 76, verse 19 in the Holy Quran, and be the recipients of Ruh al and become al sabiqun which is mentioned in chapter 56, verse 11 of the Quran, and al mukarrabun which is in chapter 56, verse 12 of the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran says Khilafat is promised to those amongst the believers who have quality faith and who do good works in chapter 24, verse 56 of the Holy Quran. That means Khilafat is dependent on a minimum of a core group of believers who are truly righteous and who do good works and thereby benefit the rest of mankind by their service and by ensuring that Khilafat continues. This is what was envisioned in al wasiyat by the Promised Messiah, peace be upon him. The Promised Messiah, peace be upon him, desired that most Ahmadis be that core group of people who are designated Kuntum Khaira Ummatin, the best people raised for the good of mankind, which is mentioned in chapter 3, verse 111 of the Holy Quran. That is, Ahmadis, by their sacrifice, their righteousness, and their good deeds, should ennoble the rest of mankind. The Holy Quran clearly mentions the concept of al wasiyat in the following words. Allah has purchased from the believers their lives and their wealth. For what price? For the paradise that they shall have. Chapter 9, verse 111 in the Quran. This verse is amplified by the verse of the Holy Quran, quote, Never shall you attain quality righteousness unless you spend out of that which you love. End quote. Chapter 3, verse 93 of the Quran. The word used in this verse for quality righteousness is al-birra, which means goodness and righteousness of a high order. It means to acquire quality righteousness and quality faith in the unity of God. Our efforts and sacrifices should be of the highest order. We should sacrifice the things that we love most in order to attain this blessing. al wasiyat encourages a practical manifestation of this verse and is a tangible indicator of a person's sacrifice and his or her commitment to achieve quality righteousness and its ensuing benefits. 
Al-Wasiyat is the means to be counted and rewarded as the Shakirin, mentioned in chapter 3, verse 145 of the Qur'an. The Holy Qur'an says, Wa izal jannatu uzlifat, when paradise is brought near. And that's in chapter 81, verse 14 of the Qur'an. Hazrat Khalifatul Masih, the second, may Allah be pleased with him, in a sermon delivered on August 26, 1932, in explaining this verse, he noted, quote, Allah has blessed us with a great opportunity. Paradise has been made approachable. The system of al wasiyat is a path to this, end quote. Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasih al-Khamis, may Allah strengthen his hand, in a series of discourses has advised the Jama'at to increase the quality and quantity of their Salat and worship of Allah, and that they increase the quality and quantity of their material sacrifices, and more and more of us should participate in the scheme of al wasiyat Hazur said, the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, has shown us the most comprehensive way of acquiring goodness and moving in the direction of progress and a good ending. That way is the system of al wasiyat and we must commit to it and participate in it as best as we can so a time will come when Allah will say Fadhulli ibadi wadhulli jannati which means so enter thou amongst my chosen servants and enter thou my garden mentioned in chapter 89 verses 31 to 32 of the Holy Quran the promised Messiah peace be upon him said rejoice and be happy that the field of achieving nearness to God is vacant and there is no other competitor. Every nation is busy loving the world, and no one is paying attention to matters which please God. Now is the time to enter this door, fulfilling all its requirements, so you may become recipients of the special prize from God. al wasiyat sustains true Khilafat. Through Khilafat, we achieve and maintain unity of mankind and indoctrinate ourselves with the unity of Allah and proclaim it to the rest of the world. Khilafat is the magnet that attracts the mercy and grace of Allah. Khilafat is the rope of Allah. And Khilafat is divine proximity. Khilafat is divine will manifest. And Khilafat is divine protection. Khilafat is peace and security. And Khilafat is the great reward called Ajran Azim in chapter 48 verse 30 of the Holy Quran. Khilafat is Al-Jannah. We are the beneficiaries of the prayers of the promised Messiah, peace be upon him. The grace of God has guided us to al wasiyat so we may aspire to that high status of, quote, my prayer and my sacrifice, my life and my death, are all for Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. End quote. Chapter 6, verse 163 of the Holy Quran. Assalamu alaikum.